Yeah, so you want to know what Panama is like in the rainy season? Now well, this is it. I've uh, filled the port, both port tanks, in about an hour. Just collecting with uh, buckets. Any of the containers we've got here. I've actually got a siphon system running at the front there and uh, yeah we've put in like a thousand liters in about an hour. It's been going like this for the last, I don't know, four hours. Just pouring, pouring rain. Today, uh, I mean, just look at this. The sun's shining. It's barely a cloud in the sky. Should definitely be going out to the outside for bullfish today. But we decided to do this. Uh, we're gonna go out and do something a little different today. I got the downrigger out. Uh, saw a little something with the guys the other day when we went out to uh, the practice day, and uh, just saw a little technique the guys were using with the downrigger is something that I hadn't even thought about on Zangray Reef so we're on our way out there today um, we've had a lot of rain the last three days so no idea what uh, the water is going to be like out there that might actually stymie us um, in which case we'll go out to the deep um, I normally leave at like three in the morning to go into the deep because it gives us three hours to get out there because the bonnies and stuff are normally really um, active in the morning so you want to get out there early so that you can get your baits and then set up for the day of uh, trolling live baits but today we're going to do something a little different we're going to go and play with the downriggers on the reef try for some amberjack and stuff like that and then maybe maybe a black marlin just depends on how the day goes i have no idea how it's all going to work out so yeah yeah so we slow trolling we've got uh downrigger out and the bunny i just caught a bunny and uh, quickly rigged it We've got the downrigger, we're right on top of the reef here now. Um, those guys on the other side there, that boat over there just went tight with something. I think they're still fighting it. Got a lot of shouting and screaming. So, yeah, the water's super off color here. So, no idea what we'll get here for the day. But yeah, you got to try. So, let's see what happens. Yeah, they're big black marlin in the area here. So, um, always wise to put something out on a, on a decent size outfit because uh, you just never know what you're going to get. What do you think it is? So Trevor's on, uh, we're not sure what it is, something solid, so we'll see. I think the boat in the background got a marlin earlier, we didn't see a jump or anything. Um, they're fishing with light, uh, small live baits I should say. Uh, Trevor put a bonnie on, so I'm not sure what's taken it. What do you need? Hey, Trevor's got a Kubera, a massive yeah, one. A massive Kubera. Oh my gosh! Shaman is blown. Give me a glove there. Yes, it's a monster Kubera. You have to try and I'm blowing. How's it? Oh, he's hooked on a felicky. Let me just grab him. I don't want to lose it. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Oh God, look at that. Holy shit. Look. And he's hooked. Check at that. If I hadn't done that, I would have lost him. Okay, now just hold him for a photo. Oh shit. Yes. How's that for a Kubera? It's 
stunning, Ooh. absolutely stunning. On a bonito. Let's get him back. Oh, that was a sweet Kubera. Kerry's uh, busy sorting the boat out, giving it a big clean as we're fishing. <laughs> Never a dull moment on this boat. She looks so mean with these, with these uh, shades back. Much prefer the look of her. But yeah, Kerry's busy sorting everything. Yeah, never stops. Good boat lady, that's for sure. I'm absolutely loving this boat with the uh, shades up. It's just such a lovely view, and it just opens the boat. It's so light and airy. After being stuck in the rain and all that mold and shit that just keeps on coming up, so this is really refreshing. I'm loving it. We're on to a fisher. But freaking whales, dolphins. It's been chaos here. And a whale there. What a beautiful day. Absolute belter. Jeez, it took off like crazy. I don't know why it's coming so easily now. Don't lift so high. Half pumps. That's it. That's it. That's okay. Wind, wind, wind. Freaking dolphins have been causing chaos here the last while. They took the other boat's baits and seriously causing shit, hey? Bus rainbow runner. Hey. Eh? We'll keep him. Yeah. That's a lobby for a mile a day. Yes! It's a serious lobby for a mile a day. Maybe must put him out there. Eh? Hey! Put him on the big rig. Why not? What a real dolphin. The dolphin's just taken the rainbow runner twice in its mouth. There it's swimming. Oh my god. Oh, no, I don't want to. Now this is like what you don't want. So here we've got a dolphin on, which is an absolute mess. Now what are we going to do here? Can I have to slow the boat down there, but... I've got it in his mouth. What if he gets up now? Oh, there it comes out. Okay, great. You can chase him! Film it, film it, film it, film it, film it. Check him chasing it. Bugger! Wanted that rainbow runner. That was a luck. Oh my goodness. Look here, he's still coming. Bugger. Now that's a freaking serious bait. <laughs> but it's been scaled for us now. <laughs> oh my goodness, just look at that. You have to try this, I've never eaten rainbow runner. It's oh, been in I'm a sorry. dolphin's mouth. Oh. Hey, the other one's gone. Oh, oh, that's gonna be a dolphin, I bet you. Oh no, man. Bloody bastard! Ah, oh, come on, man! We're gonna have to stop the boat. Ah, oh, there's. Ah, oh, come on. Pull this. Let's pull the bait off. Thank goodness. This looks bugger. So he actually knows how to pull bait of, of freaking yeah, hooks. I the tail. I know how to do it. Yeah. Look at him. Just um, swimming around. That was an easy meal. Well, that's worth my bait's gone. Anyway, I'm glad it didn't get hooked up. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's a yellow fin. Freaking dolphins have been causing serious, serious chaos here. And this is 30 pounds, so can't pressure too much. Uh, how much is... Uh, it's pretty tight. I haven't pulled those jags either, so... Hopefully the dolphin hasn't eaten the freaking thing now. Well, wow, the dolphin is near. The thing had a shit Such a lack of day, man. Fishing with baits. Uh, I've got hardly any baits left, unfortunately. Oh, the dolphin's got it. Oh, are you joking? Yeah, just pull it, pull it, pull, 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 pull. Has he got the bait? Yes, it's decent. No, he hasn't got it. It's underneath him. If they're watching it. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, he's got it. The little fucker. Pull it, pull, pull, pull. He's freaking, he's grabbed your bait. I wonder what it is. He's got it in his mouth. Ah, uh, now nah, time to bugger off here now. Just pull him up tight. You can actually, we haven't got a lot of line left, so if he breaks off, it doesn't matter. There we go. Oops, uh, and that's exactly what's happened. Now he's pulled the hook out, which is what they do. Little bastards. Yeah, time to leave, I think. Been actually using bridles because 
We had a couple of baits taken off and I think it's probably these bloody dolphins that have been causing shit this last while. Been pulling the pulling the uh, the baits off the off the hooks. So yeah. Time to do something else. Buggers have taken over here. Over and out. Yeah, that's the one thing about this place, man. There is such a variety of fishing here. It's incredible. It's definitely got to be one of the best places I've been to, like, just generally. I mean, the guys are catching marlin every day, sailfish every day, dorada every day, tuna every day. The, the, the inshore, we're catching kuberas, they're catching rooster fish. Man, it's just amazing. I mean, you, you change your stuff so much in a day. Man, you're so busy at the back of the boat all day. It actually wears me out completely. But yeah, such fun. Awesome, awesome, awesome place. Yeah, on second thoughts, we decided to give the fishing a miss and I decided to take Kerry inshore to go and see the little white beach and have some R&R. &R. So I decided to bring Kerry around here to come and have a look at this sandy beach that they've got here. I've got no idea what the, what the, what the bottom is going to be like there, but man, this place is such a place of opposites extremes and like we've got the sunshine and you look there and then you look back down this side of the coast and it's like dark and there's lightning and thunderstorms you know and rain so you're like trying to find a, a little gap where you can squeeze in you know so you can see this stuff but yeah, this place is beautiful and you've just got to have the time and the decent weather you know decent day i mean look at these trees it's just insane like pristine I mean this this jungle is this has never been stepped on there's no nobody no man has gone into these jungles in the Darien jungle and the Darien gap I'm gonna see if we can nose in there but uh, I'm not sure if we can I'm gonna try and keep an eye on the echo here at the same time see there's some shallow patches coming up here I see there's rock and sand here so uh, I don't know if you can anchor here Local kids diving here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just a bit hesitant to throw an anchor here. I don't quite know what everything around here. And with a huge tidal range, you've got to be super careful. Four meters, yeah. Just a little bit of depth. Oh, so we eventually got an anchor down and settled down to some lunch. Yo, the chef's in the kitchen. Check it, this shit. Fun dining. Yo, you're learning, eh? <laughs> Check the bread, she's baked. Yes, sus, not bloody shabby, eh? And, the and you wonder why? And a biscuit, and a biscuit, and a biscuit. Not, not that bread, that biscuit. Yes, yeah, sus. Table. And the gin and tonic. Are oh, you gonna have a sip? Oh, just tonic. And this for the table. Mm. Fancy pants. I just hope the anchor doesn't drag because we're right here in the jungle. Right here in the jungle amongst all the fishing gear. Dorado a la Kerry. Chef Kerry. Bread a la Chef Kerry. And that is Chef Kerry. <laughs> Let's look at this little spot. Oh, I've been under the boat diving, <coughs> just cleaning the boat. I have to do it because the anti foul is pretty buggered now. It's more than a year and a half. It's starting to take a bit of strain. But yeah, nothing to complain about. Yeah, I never wanted to sit still. I took a trip down to the Pinnacles close by with the Zodiac. More on that next time. What's the depth there now? The water is still pretty green here. Eh? How much? 2.1. 2.1. Yeah, that's under the transducer. Got about a meter and a half under the keel. Anyway. Oh, it's shallow. Yeah, it's quite something to, to take into account. We're almost on the bottom of the tide. We've got like 1.8, 2.1 meters below the boat. But yeah, it's, this uh, tidal range goes through this couple of days time, it's 4.92 meters, minus 27 to 4.92 plus. So you've got five meter tidal range. 
it's definitely something you have to take into consideration. When we threw you earlier, we were in like probably five meters. We down to we down to two. So yeah, I'm gonna move the anchor. I think we're fine, but better be safe than sorry. See the difference from when we got you first. I don't know if I videoed it, but man, the beach is double the size. <laughs> you could carry into the box quickly to kale the anchor chain and we'll move away a little bit just to be safe. Yeah, our carrier had been running around after me on the boat with all the fishing. It was time to take her for a little walk on the beach and a little bit of an R&R &R and a bit of land time. about as deep in the jungle as you could get a beach that's for sure so pretty man this is absolutely insane you can actually walk here from the lodge over the hill pretty steep and muddy apparently let's drop carry off I just put an anchor here in the shallows. I don't think we're gonna be here for long. <laughs> Quick swim to the to the beach. <laughs> Coral underfoot here, shit. Not as nice on the feet as what you what it looks. Shit. Yeah, little pink crabs. One thing about this place, man, it rains every freaking day. It doesn't rain, it buckets down. So, here are all these little streams. This is what makes the water go dirty on the inshore and why the fishing turns off. Oh, not today, fortunately. So, yeah, it's just beautiful, man. Look at these jungles. Yo! This is, this is as pristine as you'll get. Like a little spot to make a braai. Man, it's freaking lush like you can't believe. These are all the logs that bring us all the bait and stuff out at sea. On your spring tides, this all gets washed out and then ends up in the current line. Awesome little spot. Take it. Crystal clear water coming out of there. And this is the most pure, pure water you can get, eh? Straight jungle back here. Straight yeah. into the dairy in. You're not gonna walk around in here, I can promise you. It's so pretty it's though. It's a brick. Incredible. This water will be pure as gold, boy. In defense mode. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this place reminds me of Gabon. It's just much thicker. It's just crazy how thick this jungle is. It's no wonder they can't find a way to get through it. The Darien Gap. As I say, the trans. What's it? The Transatlantic Highway or whatever it is. Stops at uh, Bocas, Del Toro, and then starts again in Colombia. There's just no road through the entire freaking Darien jungle. Impossible, impenetrable. Yeah, our time at Tropic Star Lodge was super special. We had a lot going on in the background, a lot of things were changing, a lot of plans had to be made. And it was so cool to be in such a nice place. Such an incredible day with my husband. Time out from every other worry and concern. Super special.
special and very grateful. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground